Hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> We're back. It's day 25 of our testimony challenge. It has just been so much fun and um, so, so glad that we've had this opportunity to be on here and to be able to share so many amazing testimonies of the goodness of God. Yeah, we've, uh, I feel like, I guess when you do this for 31 straight days, you feel a little <laughs> redundant, but we really have enjoyed it so, so much. And, and yeah. uh, uh, all the comments, everything we, I know we continue to say, but it really has meant a lot to us. Uh, just to be a part of this with you and yes. we always want to encourage you that uh, you can join the challenge with us even yes. for the last six days um hey sherry how hi are you? sherry good to um, see you on here and uh it is later tonight yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um uh anyways so uh so if you only for the last six days of the month want to journal every day a different testimony just it's just so important to remember and to bring to mind the times that the Lord has broken through in your life. And and uh, and so we just love it and enjoy it so much. And so here we are on day 25. 25 I forgot already. Yeah. Day 25. And we have our 25th testimony in a row. Yes. So uh, I think you're going to share. Yeah. All right. So here, this is a testimony of something. This happened a few years ago. And uh, we were at, uh, it was Sunday morning. We were at church. And um, I had a lady come up to me and uh, said, she said, I've been struggling with migraines. Uh, I'm having them every day. It's been horrible. I can't seem to get rid of the headaches. Would you pray for me? And I, I of course, I said, sure, I'll pray for you. And so I laid hands on her. I you know, prayed a quick prayer just that the Lord would heal her and uh, deliver her from these headaches. And I, that was it. It was just this simple prayer. And uh, she didn't have a headache at the time, but uh, she had been struggling with it. So that was it. And I didn't see her. It was actually, it was probably maybe two months uh, before I saw her again. And so she came, she came up to me a couple of months later and she said, I want you to know I have not had one headache since you prayed for me that Sunday. Not one headache. It's I've been set free. I've been healed. Um, I'm not dealing with, with these headaches anymore. And I mean, I was so excited. And one of the, one of the things that stood out just for me with that testimony is of praying into praying for her that day is, you know, there's times when, when we pray for people, when I pray for someone and I am just so full of faith and you know feeling the presence of god and like i know that i know you know this is god is yeah. going to do this and it's funny because this was not one of those times i i you know she wanted prayer and i did it out of obedience to the lord of of course i'm going to pray for you and i you know i, I don't know that i really felt <laughs> felt anything at the time of, of just being full of faith and so it was just this amazing amazing thing for me to see a couple months later that you know god god had moved on her life uh in that prayer and that it wasn't about me it wasn't about me it wasn't about my level of faith it wasn't about um even my prayer it was just stepping into obedience someone coming someone needing to be healed and obeying and praying and connecting with the Lord and praying for her and what God did in her life was just yeah. incredible. It was an amazing testimony. I mean, in that, I just love all of that. It's just, um, God, I mean, we know that he can do whatever he wants, however he wants, but the way he uses us and partners with us and, yeah. and to accomplish, uh, his will is just amazing. And, uh, I just love it. And so we want to pray tonight. We we like to uh, at least... Hi, Justin. <laughs> to stay on topic. And uh, and so anyone that is struggling with migraines or headaches, I know throughout the month uh, we've had a couple of testimonies about yes. headaches and migraines. And, and so we just right now release healing in the area of headaches yes. and migraines. I feel like some, you may be, the, at the time you watch this, actually have a headache right now. And God is going, he's going to take it yes. away right this second. And, uh, and we just want to encourage you, like Joanna was saying, is, is there's those moments where you're like on the mountaintop, but then there's just those moments of obedience. Either one, God breaks through yes. and does what only he can do. That's and right. so we release 
uh, just the faith to pray no matter what your feelings are. Yes. And uh, uh, to be obedient to that. And uh, so uh, we just love you guys. Yes. So much. And tomorrow will be day 26. Yes. We'll have uh another testimony it's just it's just gonna be so much fun and um and keep it up keep the comments up if you uh share your testimonies with us we've had um, people either putting them in the comments or sending us private messages of testimonies that of them sharing the goodness of god and things that he's done in their life we love reading your testimonies right. testimonies are so important they build faith in us they encourage us and they prophesy. They prophesy over our lives. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So when we are reading these testimonies, when we are uh, declaring these testimonies, it is prophecy over our lives that if he did it before, he can do it again. He will do it again. And he, if he did it for me, he can do it That's for right. you. So it's so important to, to be reminded of those testimonies and spending time with the Lord of thinking about times over our lives where he has met us, where he has broken through, where we had no other options, but Jesus and he came through. And it's just, there's so much power in remembering what he's done. And then there's so much power in declaring it and uh, telling others what he has done yeah, for us. That's, that's so good. Um, we, uh, I was just sitting here just thinking that, uh, probably, probably just a little bit of a teaser, but I think we're gonna try, uh, well, uh, before the end of the month, to also have another, not just a testimony, but a time of prophecy. Yes. And I think we'll, uh, we'll announce that a little bit ahead of time of, hey, at this time, we're going to get on here. And not only are we going to share a testimony, but we're going to have prophetic ministry. Yes. So uh, whenever you watch this, just keep that in mind and keep looking because we're going to uh, we're going to schedule that. And uh, we just love it. We just love you guys. Um, Thank you for being a part of this journey yeah. with us. It's been so much fun. And uh, just to to do this with you, to for you to be a part of this, for you to, like we said, sharing testimonies with us. And um, and also we encourage you, if you, are, if you have anything that you need prayer for, we've had um, so many people either comment or send us private messages of prayer requests, things that they're needing, a miracle, whether it's a physical miracle, financial miracle, emotional miracle, whatever it is, is we've um, we've had people sharing those and we pray over each one of those. We've gotten reports back from some of them that have, they've said, hey, you prayed for me and I was completely healed. And we just, we want to encourage you to reach out. We would love to pray for you because God is a miracle working God. Right. He is, he's a supernatural God. He is the God of the impossible nothing is impossible for him and it's been so much fun to be going through this month and sharing day after day just yeah. how how good he is and how nothing is impossible i do want to encourage you with this uh is that when joanna just brought this up to me right before march started of hey i feel like we should do this testimony challenge and really get online every day I think my first words to her is, I don't think we're gonna have 31 testimonies. And it's it's amazing how you forget what the Lord has done. Yeah. And so it was almost like priming the pump, but as we got a few in, we just started remembering. <laughs> and the more, the more testimonies we shared, the more memory has started coming of all the different times that God broke through and has either been used by us or have done things for us. Yes. And, uh, and so I just wanna encourage you, like, like start start declaring what the Lord has done and you're gonna start remembering even the smallest details of things that God has done. And that grateful heart towards him, he pours himself out on that. Yes. And so just continue to declare the testimonies of Jesus and just remember. All right. I think that's it. We will see you tomorrow for day 26. Yep, we love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Good night.